Hey everybody, welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. So, well, we won the, f we completed the first part of the Na Battle of Nagir Plains, and then Alicia got shoulder sniped by some asshole somewhere. said it missed her organs, but she's still out cold, huh? Come on, boss. There ain't nothing we can do for her cooped up in here. We really got our hands full, keeping those imps from crashing down on top of us. Yeah, you're right. We'll be back soon, Alicia. Lieutenant Gunther, might I have a word? Hmm? Sure, what's up? Well, it's... I'd feel more comfortable if we could talk alone. Right. I'll head on back to the squad, boss. Thanks, Largo. Get everyone ready to move out. I'm sorry to keep you. I know you've got a squad to run here. It's fine. What is it? Well, I removed the bullet from Alicia's body, but when I took a look at it, it... It's... The bullet wasn't of Imperial make. It was a Gallian sniper rifle round, sir. Oh? What? And not just a normal round, either. It's part of a new series, still in testing. So you're saying... you think Alicia was shot by someone on our side? I can't be completely sure, but... I believe it's a very real possibility. Yeah. Why? What would anyone stand to gain from shooting someone in their own camp? Ah, those incompetents! Why are they letting the Empire have their way? Oh. Actually, you're the incompetent one, Jowls. With all due respect, General, our army isn't equipped to fight a Valkyria. We ought to pull back for now, and think of a strategy to neutralize her safely. Ah, quiet! Quiet! We pull out now. How will I explain this to the higher-ups? Tomorrow at noon, we march on to the Empire again! Every soldier we have fights! God, you're retarded. General! Know your place, Farad. You are dismissed. <sighs> he has to go wage war on a bunch of pies. Hopeless. We'll lose the whole army. Isn't there... What can we do? Museum thief? Mm. Twin Vulcan. Cat fight. Listen to me, Gallia. Cast aside your weapons and surrender. If you do not. Nagyar's planes will drink deeply of your blood! Oh. 
Wait a minute. I don't believe it. No. She can't be a Valkyria. Looks like she's running on autopilot. Another scion to the Valkyra? This world has no need for two. Get out! <laughs> Smaller boobs, less drag. You don't get super weapon. What well, now, you Nazi swine hunden? Let me catch you up on the current situation. What, that Alicia just wrecked everyone's shit? The enemy is centered around the camp they've set up, smack in the middle of the combat area. Your squad will begin at this point. High Commander is still calling for an all out offensive because there's a retard. I have faith in your soldiers' victory. Your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. The enemy of Valkyria has thankfully been neutralized by our own. This is a rare opportunity. <coughs> Let's make the best of it and try to claim some ground. All decisions regarding the Valkyria from here on out will come from the captain or our highest ranked officer present. Alright, so Rosie and Largo are already locked into place. Ica. Vice. Edie. Jan. Nadine and Marina. Get it on. You'll commence combat now. Stay sharp out there. Concentrate on taking their base camp. Squad seven, move out. There are a lot of gun turrets out there. Boss! What's happened to Alicia? She went Super Saiyan? I don't know, but that blue flame is the same as that Valkyria's. You don't mean... you saying Alicia's Valkyria? Looks like she's acting unconsciously. Get too close, she might attack us. I'm worried, but... We're better off watching for now. In the meantime, we strike their camp. All right, Alicia, do stuff. That guy in particular, nobody liked him. He was a dick.
Oh, yeah, I can use the Zarka. The enemy's defensive line has been broken. There's still more of them. Fire! Man down. Everybody be careful. All right, Largo, buddy, where are you? Been waiting here. You Joker still all right? The Gallians have one too. There's still more of them. Been waiting here. I'm not doing this for any reason in particular. Here we go! Oh, goes right there. Hi, Rosie. Oh, please don't shoot through the eight wires. Okay. 
Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Just watch this. I sort of caught that with his teeth and laughed. What? Is, is that all you have? Uh oh. Do not hit the Edelweiss. Thank you. Your other action point to blow up the bunker? No, you won't. Way ahead of you. Yeah, this is why you gotta bring the shamrock down here. Please don't follow them in too deep. Yo shit! What now, bitches? Uh oh. Eh, overdrive seemed to have worn off. Police! 
Misha! Medic! Medic! What happened? It looks like Alicia's passed out. Can you get her back to base for me? Yes, sir. Oh? What now? Massive tanks are approaching from the north and south. <sighs> Shock horror. Be careful, Lieutenant. It's a pincer attack. They left the camp open as bait to lure us in. Those tanks fire incendiary rounds. The impact explodes into a broad blaze. That flame can get at you even in trenches and takes a while to die down. Be careful. Change of plan, Sevens. Hold the camp and take down those tanks. Both heavy tanks need to be destroyed. Damage critical. Wow, that's a lot of dudes over there. Way ahead of you. Found us an enemy. Why? Leave it to me. Alright guys. One enemy tank neutralized. One to go, sir. With the power of these dumb atritis. Keep it up, everybody. <laughs> it won't be long now. At our backs, we will be unstoppable. Fetch to balls! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Who the, the enemy... fuck just said vegetables? Where'd our tank go? Leave it to me. Alright guys, we need to get up there and kick their ass. Uh, what was that explosion? Where's our tank? Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. To this day, I've still never seen what those tanks do. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what their attacks look like. Or how far they can move. It's just like... Wow, those things are those things sound pretty gay. <laughs> I think I already know how to take out this man. Celicia, kill everything in that general direction. The watershed battle on the Nagyar Plains ended in the victory of the Galian forces. It made military history not only with its ferocity but with the duel that ended it. The Imperial Army then fell to retreat, while Gallia's grasp on victory tightened. Alicia, are you all right? Welcome. I'm... What happened? I can't remember. What did... I was shot, wasn't I? But here I am, alive and fully healed. And it's like... Everyone looks at me differently now. Like they're scared. Welkin did... Has something happened to me? 
Tell me, please. Alicia. Report. Parting ways. Parting ways? What? Baldio? Why is he there? Sir, may I come in? Grease, any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Gallian sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Gallian force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Grease. The night before the shooting, Records show Lieutenant Lanzit checked out the rifle. What? Valdio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle, so the clerk remembered him. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanzit and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Valdio? It couldn't be. Aww. Hey, Valdio. You in? I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyra. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the darks and calamity, and how their actions forever scorch the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyra invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous Darkson people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. The victors simply rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrie's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I can't help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. 
they'd lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrie of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Valdio! Uh, hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Valdio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verrat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. <laughs> well, can angry. That's a good reason, though. I mean, eh, you either get wrecked by the enemy's Valkyria or you, you try to make one of your own to save your asses. He has a point. Faldio. I'm only going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. <laughs> Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict! That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right. But still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. Twenty-four hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. <sighs> Chapter 15. Citadel Girlendio. Mmm. Mmm. Well, we'll check this out next time.
Catch you all later. Adios.